name's Ashley Rice. I'm Lowell Rice. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, today we're gonna be trying out some vegan pizza, which we always love a little bit too much some days. Um, but I was contacted by Blackbird Foods, which is a company that I think originated in Philadelphia, but I think this one is specifically New York based. And then in a different video, I'm gonna be reviewing one of their Satan products. But the pizza flavors we have are really yummy. I'm super excited. The one that I'm most excited for is barbecue chicken. And these are all vegan, 100% vegan, 100% plant-based as well. And using VioLife cheese. Which we're super excited about. We love VioLife. <laughs> uh, another flavor is the kale and mushroom flavor. And there's also a margarita flavor and a supreme, which I think is the one I'm most excited for. Oh, yeah. Now, it would take a while to go through all of the nutrition information. I think I'm just going to tell you calories per serving for each of these. If you want to know more information about them, I am linking Blackbird Foods' website down below in the description box, so you can check it out there as well. But for the kale and mushroom pizza, it is 340. For the barbecue chicken, it is 370. For the margarita, it's 320, and for the Supreme, it's 360. And you can order them off their website. So if you are interested in that, as I said earlier, their website is down below in the description box. But some other fun facts about these products, they are non-GMO, they are plant-based vegan, and they are cholesterol-free and also kosher for those of you who are needing that. But now we're gonna go ahead, they should be done soon, so we're gonna go ahead and serve ourselves up a little bit of these pizzas, and then we'll come back and try them for you guys. Super pumped. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay guys, they are all cooked. As we begin to talk about the one that we're about to try, I will put it on the screen what it looks like whole after it was cooked, so you can see that a little bit better. But before we try them, if this seems like something after you've heard a little bit more about it that you want to buy yourself, I will leave a coupon code down below in the description so you can check it out there. Also, I'll put it on the screen right now. It's just Ashley10 and it gets you 10% off of your purchase. I don't get anything from this. Uh, they were just really nice and wanted to give you guys a coupon code for watching this video. Also, if you do order them, just make sure that you're tracking it so that you can um, make sure to grab it right away because they are perishable. But let's go ahead and try them. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, let's finish with the ones we were excited about. Um, I think the one we're least likely to like is the kale mushroom. For those of you who are new to the channel, we're not big fans of mushrooms. Though it is getting better. It is getting better. We are finding ways that we like mushrooms. Ooh, that cheese though. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. The sauce, too. Mmm. This is really good. I think it was a little less of a cracker crust than I was expecting, but we did have four pizzas in the oven when they only suggested, well, really the one. <laughs> one at a time. So that might vary it up a little bit, but no, this is, I think, the perfect amount for me, really. Um, where there's that little bit of crunch, but it's not like you're biting into, like, a cracker, you know? Um, I think they did a really, really good job with this. I'm loving the sauce cheese, like, moistness combination. Sorry for those of you who don't like that word. Um, but I think, like, that just is the part that's standing out to me the most right here. And BioLife cheese is amazing. It's an amazing vegan cheese. Yeah, and the, the mushrooms aren't that really, like, gummy, mushy texture mm -hmm. that we tend to dislike. Mm -hmm. I think that often comes with, like, the oiliness of some pizzas. Um, but it really worked out nicely for this one. It did. Yeah. The crust pieces, too, were nice and fluffy. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not an overly chewy crust, mm -hmm. which I like. I mean, I like most crusts. I just like bready things in general. I'm usually not a fan of crust. <laughs> I'm one of those weirdos. He usually eats my crust. Because um, I'm one of those weirdos. Yes. Shall we move on? I guess. This is really good, you guys. Like, we were both just going to demolish the pieces we had in that <laughs> one. So that makes me even more excited for the two we were super excited for. Um, so let's do the... Margarita. The margarita one. Here we go. Hmm. That's right. This is vastly different. I'm sure you saw the pieces of garlic on the pizza. It is very garlic heavy. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, he loves garlic, so that works out great for him. Oh yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. I think this one was on the lower rack, so the crust is mm -hmm. a little crunchier. I will say the sauce is a lot different on this one. It's not, um, there's not as much of it. So no. it is more of that, I think, New York style margarita. These are like hearty chunks of garlic. Like they did the slices of garlic, I should say. Don't get this for a first date. 
That's my only recommendation. <laughs> Mid bite <actually. laughs> I think I like the mushroom one a little bit more than margarita. That's because I'm a big sauce girl. Mm. I love sauce. And it had more cheese too. Mm-hmm. It did. Okay, so we're gonna go with Supreme. Oh, this one didn't get nearly as much on the bottom. I think this oh. one must have been an upper rack one. Yeah, too. this must have been on the top rack. Having fewer toppings on the margarita meant that it cooked through a bit better. Well, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> must right. have a little variance in cooking time, even between the flavors. Maybe. Here we go. Oh yeah, this one could have been cooked for longer. If it was by itself, I'm sure it would have been different. From what I remember Supreme Pizza being like, slash what other vegan Supreme Pizzas have tasted like, there it's a is, Supreme Pizza. Yeah, there's a lot of that similarity. Not as much sauce or cheese as the first pizza we tried, but it's good. Crunchy. Yeah, the outside got nice and crunchy. <laughs> Let's try this last one and then we'll give our final thoughts. I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> okay, you ready? Barbecue chicken. I'm sure that looked lovely. <laughs> I literally put my teeth into it and I was like, yes. Again, I'm loving the sauce. It's it's a creamier sauce almost. I think that's the first one and this one. Mm. It's like, a, it's not like a thick creamy, but it is a creamier kind of sauce in a sense or creamier cheese or whatever it might be. Like the cheese is gooier on these ones? Gooier. That's a better way to phrase it. Yes, gooier. Okay. The chicken that they have in here, I'm assuming it's their seitan based chicken. I believe it's seitan. And I think they did a great job with the flavors. I don't think, it probably doesn't taste like chicken though, does it? Or what do you think? For those of you who are new to my channel, I am vegan, my husband is not. <laughs> so you're getting both sides of the picture right now. That said, it's been a little while since I had non-vegan barbecue chicken pizza, just because I tend to go for other flavors most days. <laughs> like it's good barbecue, barbecue chicken flavor. I wouldn't say it's like perfectly chicken. <laughs> But since the point is really the barbecue sauce anyway, it's just kind of like a similar enough medium to carry the sauce. Yep. So it works out for me. And it, like all the little pieces just fall apart nice and easy. It's mm -hmm. not like super chewy like some seitan can be. Uh, which makes me kind of excited to try the sausage in that future video. Because yeah. like if it's nice and just soft here. I honestly think the mushroom and this barbecue one were my favorites. Same, yeah. Those were, they were honestly really good. I think the margarita was very much what you would expect from a margarita pizza. And same with the Supreme. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. they're not trying to be like crazy different with those ones. They're just trying to be very good at what they're labeled as being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like and honestly, this is a really good pizza. For those of you who have only had Daya vegan pizza, this surpasses it by a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, <laughs> yes. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of Daya pizza. It was nice when it was like the only vegan option for frozen pizzas on the market mm. to have something that was a frozen pizza. Yeah. Um, but now as more stuff has come out and more companies are doing like really good quality stuff, it's like, why go back to it? Okay, so if we had to rank our least favorite to our favorites, what would be number four? I'm gonna say the margarita, though, the reason I say that, not because it's bad. I think it's a good margarita pizza, especially if you love margarita, I think you would love this. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of really strong garlic. Um, this is one of our things that we talk about whenever we're making food. He always gets most of the garlic. Also, I, I love sauce and this very true to what a margarita, margarita pizza is like has not very much sauce. And a little less cheese too. For me, I'd probably put the Supreme at number four. Mm. Um, not that it's bad, um, I think partially we maybe didn't cook it as long as that one needed to be cooked. For sure. We um, did. Mm -hmm. Partially just I wasn't as much in the mood for Supreme as I thought I was today. Yeah. And these other ones are just taking the spot a bit better. Mm -hmm. And then I would probably put the margarita at third for mm -hmm. me. And I was going to put Supreme as third as well. Um, mostly, I love how strong the flavors were for the Supreme. I really enjoyed that. I think they were very present and you knew what you were biting into. So, number two. Number two, I'd probably put the barbecue. I was going to put the mushroom. <laughs> we have different tastes. We it's do. Allowed. Because I love barbecue, guys. I love, there's a barbecue sauce that I'm in love with. It's Minnesota based. It's so good. But I really, honestly though, that mushroom one, I was surprised that I loved it so much. Yeah. Yeah. And it is pretty heavy on the kale too. Like, mm, which um, is great. I love kale on pizza. And one thing I will note, note is that you do smell the kale as you're lifting the piece up to your face. Mm. Uh, so it is definitely like a kale and mushroom pizza, 
but the flavors are good. They work well together. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't end up too dry from having the kale on there. The kale is like a nice level of cooked. And I think the mushroom adds a nice rich flavor. So oftentimes when you're making bean foods, you use mushroom like soup or mushroom broth or just mushrooms in general to get kind of that deep rich flavor you would get in a lot of meat heavy sauces. So you do get that a little bit in here, that deep rich flavor. Yeah, it kind of replaces that like dark meat flavor. Mm -hmm. So barbecue wins for me, guys. I, <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> and I was honestly, no, their, their vegan chicken is really delicious. I'm super excited to try the sausage. I wish we would have gotten the vegan chicken because I would use that again in a heartbeat. I think it was, it was really tasty. Like it, that would take well to any sauce, I'm mm -hmm. guessing, if it took this well to the barbecue. Oh, 100%. So that would be a great addition to a bunch of recipes. Yeah. But again, we'll try one of theirs shortly. Yes. That video will be coming out um, hopefully within the next two weeks. Uh, life is still a little bit busy, you guys, and so we're just trying to put stuff out when I can. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. And again, if you would love to try out these pizzas for yourself, I am linking their website down below. Don't forget to use that coupon. Again, I don't get anything from that. I just want to make sure you guys are getting a good deal and that you're also saving money during this time as well. I recommend trying out the sampler pack so you can try all their flavors. Yes, but I would love to hear your guys' thoughts about these down below in the comments. Let me know if you've tried these as well or let me know which one of these you're most excited to try or would want to really, really try. Um, I would love to hear all of that down below. But other than that, if you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that is down below, especially so you can get notified for that sausage video that'll be coming out soonish. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.